Welcome fellow felters, you've got your starter kit, give me five minutes and we'll go through eight of my top tips. Needle felting is rolling sheep's wool into balls and shapes, poking it with a needle until it mats together and creating 3D structures. Ta -da! First tip, you must have a needle felting needle. It has barbs on the needle that drive the wool in deeper and mat it together. It's a lot easier if you have a mat as well. This one is two pounds off Amazon, very cheap and large and big. I will put a link below if you're interested. Wool, the wool comes from sheep. There are several different types. I have a whole video on wools to help you, especially as a beginner. But the easiest wool to use is carded wool because it is matted up and it is easier to roll and merge together without leaving lots of lines on the outside. Other types of wool are roving or tops. This wool is combed out into longer pieces. So, carded is very easy to separate wherever you want to separate it. Roving is not so easy. You have to be very gentle and pull it apart like so. If you do have roving, you can make it look a bit like this by messing it up. This is called carding. And then pull it between your fingers and then start your project. The tighter, so this is tip number three, the tighter you roll the ball of wool at the beginning of your project, the easier it is to felt. That is nice and tight. If I start felting that, it will not take me that long to do. If I started there, that will take me ages. So the tighter it is, the better. When you're using your needle, always put the needle straight in and straight out. This is tip number five. Put it in at the same angle as you put, pull it out at the same angle that you put it in at. That way you will not bend or break the needle. If you put it in and twist or turn, these needles will not last that long. It is better if you have more than one needle. When you are felting, keep turning your item. Do not just felt in one place because it will only get small in that place. You need to keep felting all around. And also always make sure you know where your fingers are. Do not felt towards them. You can wear finger guards, which will really help in the very beginning, but you might find you can't feel the wool that well and you don't want to wear them. So if you felt down or slightly away, you will not get your fingers. When you are doing details, such as this little tiny cute face, you use a darker wool normally, a lot of people make a mistake, they grab a great big bit. You literally need a tiny amount. That is absolutely tiny and give it a little twist. So start with less when you are doing details. Another good tip, tip number six for beginners, is cookie cutters. Cookie cutters are great starter items. If you take your wool and you force it all inside there, and then you start needle felting it down, it doesn't take long before you will end up with a beautiful heart shape or a beautiful star or a beautiful Christmas tree. You can do all sorts. This is a lovely owl, this is a lovely rabbit or even a beautiful little dog. So for a starter, for a beginner, they are absolutely fantastic. I've done some really cute hearts and I've mixed some colors. I do videos on how to do bunting with stars and how to do it with hearts, so they're really good beginner videos. Have a look at those. Tip number seven, keep going when you are felting an item. The more you felt it, the smaller it's going to get. You'll know when it's done, when it becomes really firm to squeeze and all the fuzz on the outside disappears. And that's when it's done. So you just need to keep going. 
And my last tip is practice, practice, practice. You will always improve with each felt you do. Soon you will be felting and making lovely little sheep. These are videos I have for beginners and they are very easy. There's no wireframe in them and I have tutorials that talk you all the way through. These are some of the needle felts I've done. I haven't been needle felting that long. You can do it too. I have um, lots more videos. I have a needle felting essential series talking you through absolute beginner, um, all types of wools, uh, needle felting mats and tools, and tips on how to do animal faces and hooves and body shapes. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching. Happy felting.